Hello, my name's Nigel Pease and I'm here at Barnsley College looking at some music production techniques using Pro Tools software. In this little clip, I'm going to give you a basic introduction to the edit modes. Okay, so I'm going to start with slip mode. If I press F2, that's selected slip mode, and now with the grabber tool, I can move this region freely and I'm not affecting any of the other regions in the session. Using the selector, again I've got freedom of movement to make a selection, and if I was to edit this, say for example deleting that particular selection, two subset regions have been created either side of the selection, but the other regions in the session are not affected by that edit. I'm just going to do Command Z to undo that, and we'll now move on to shuffle mode using F1. Using that same selection, I'm going to delete it again, but this time you'll notice that this region here, sample region 2, will move to the left, and the newly created subset region will also move to close up the gap where this selection was. Uh, basically, within uh, shuffle mode, any regions to the right of the edit are affected by that edit. So if I just press delete now, you can see sample region 02 has been created and has moved up to close the gap and sample region 2 has also moved to follow along. So I'll just do command Z again to undo that. I'm moving on now with F3 to spot mode. If I click on a region with the grabber in spot mode, then it opens up the spot dialog. This allows me to specify a particular location for this region. So I'm going to just type into this start box 45 for bar 45 and if I click OK now you'll see the region has jumped to now start at bar 45. So that's very useful if you're wanting to spot a region to a particular location within the session. Again using Command Z I'm going to undo that. And the last mode I'm going to look at uh, is grid. So pressing F4 gives us grid mode and now with the grabber tool, if I move this region, the movement is constrained to the grid setting, whatever that may be. Uh, in this particular example, we're on bars and beats, and we've got a one bar grid. So the movement that I'm making with the grabber tool is constrained to one bar steps. And the same is true if I make selections with the selector tool, it's selecting constrained to the one bar grid. So there we are, a basic introduction to the four edit modes. Uh, it's worth pointing out that there are variations of edit modes, uh, such as relative grid and snap to grid, and obviously there are a lot more edit functions that you can do which are affected in different ways by the different modes, but hopefully you found that useful as a basic introduction to the, the four different modes within Pro Tools.